Hey guys, welcome to another video. So to my surprise, about four weeks ago, my blue life play died. Uh, it just wouldn't turn on anymore. And as you can see, it was blue. So uh, I reached out to blue. It was just about to be out of warranty. And um, they took me through the process. Uh, it was actually really nice to know that uh, they honored their warranty. Um, they took me through the process and they got me another device. It took about a month or so, uh, but that really didn't matter because I had, you know, obviously I have several devices. So, uh, but the fact is they actually sent me another device. So what they did was they said, Hey, you know, um, your phone is blue. Uh, we don't, we don't have, the, we don't have the parts for that. So we can either send you a different color or, you know, we can wait on the parts. And it had already been a month. It had already been three weeks or so. And uh, I said, you know what? Just send me a, a yellow one. You know, just send me, send me a different color. So here it is. I had actually never seen the, the yellow one. This is kind of like a neon yellow. Never seen this in uh, in real life. Um, it's it's cool. I mean, um, it's uh, still the great device that I remember. Uh, but to my surprise, the, the other one, it just stopped charging, stopped turning on. Um, and it just wouldn't do anything. So I sent it in. They just wanted to have the phone itself, not the battery. So I sent that in. It, it's a little bit of work you have to go through. You have to, uh, I called them, but you can email them. But, you know, I was a little agitated, so I just went ahead and called them. Uh, it was about an hour wait on hold to get someone. And then finally, they sent me this email um, and, uh, you know, told me the instructions and I, I did it. And then here we are uh, just a little over a month later and I have my new device. Um, they were kind enough to send me another battery and the, and the phone itself. It was brand new. I just pulled it out the box from when it uh, came in the mail. And uh, I, I've just never seen the neon version. So I was kind of uh, kind of shocked at how bright it was. And I thought, you know, I can go back to using the blue as my daily. I thought, wow. I don't know if I can use a, a neon yellow phone. Uh, it looks kind of cool, though. If I worked in construction or if at night, uh, the people will definitely see this. But like the other blue products, uh, you got the 8 megapixel on the back, LED flash, charger up front, headphone jack, volume and power on that side, uh, speaker on the back, nothing on the bottom with the little microphone right there, and then uh, nothing on this side. And and that's about it. Um, my, again, my other uh, blue uh, blue phone, it just stopped charging all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. It just wouldn't turn on. No water damage. You guys know me. I really take care of my devices. It wasn't dropped. It was always in that uh, clear case that they sent with the phone since brand new. And that was that. Uh, but um, here we are once again. And uh, this is the neon uh, it's different. You know, I wanted something different. So I said, you know what, send me this uh, yellow one. I didn't know it was going to be like a neon, uh, but still great device, super thin, still a relevant device. Um, and that's why I made this video to kind of revisit, uh, the blue life play. I've done several videos uh, on blue and blue life, the blue life play itself. I did one on the blue one, the white one. And, um, Lately, I've been digging back through my stash and revisiting devices. And right when I was going to record the revisitation, uh, the visitation of or the revisit to the Blue Light Play, it I, it wouldn't turn on. And uh, here we are a little bit ways later, but still, I have a brand new one now. And it's a different color. It's this yellow neon. Nonetheless, this device, as I was saying before, is still a relevant device. It packs a quad core processor. It's um, a really, really, really uh, nice screen on this device. I'll turn the brightness down. It runs pretty much stock Android. Um, crank it down. It runs pretty much stock Android, and it has uh, just the the build quality. It's you know it's worth getting. It still sells at a good price. It still sells at about two hundred actually. <laughs> um, but uh, the device itself, mm. is it worth it? Still, I say so because it still has specs that are are right on par with, and if not better than some of the other prepaid devices. 
It's a 4G device, not LTE, but still 4G is good enough. It's unlocked from the factory. Uh, great build quality, everything about it. 7.9 millimeters, 125 grams, uh, 4.7 inch display, 312 pixels per inch, which rivals the uh, also great Moto G. Um, it's just a, it's a good device. Eight megapixel camera. The the camera and everything was, was going on. There's 1080p, two megapixels on the front. But more importantly, it's a quad core 1.2 gigahertz A7 in there. So that is what's powering this bad boy. And I think that um, with with uh, such a the, a good processor with the 800 mAh battery, I and mean, if you remember, I was able to get tons of battery life out of this thing. It, it lasted all day. In my full review, if you don't remember it, um, check it out. Uh, I've done several videos on this on this phone and uh it is just a very good phone and my point is it's still relevant i have to stress that because some phones go away and people just stop kind of stop using them and people think uh you know that's, that's that phone is old or you know it's not you know i don't like it anymore but you know the the fact of the matter is it's still a relevant device looking at the colors the way it reprodu reproduces on the screen it's really a nice device. I'm not just saying that. It's it's actually a good device. So people who have the Blue Life Play, they know that this device is a good device. It's uh, more importantly, it's very affordable. Um, and if you're if you're one of those people who are you know you can't afford to come out of pocket, but you want a smartphone, or you know you're just on the fence about whether you want to start using a smartphone. These are some of the devices that you could possibly go start with at, at these affordable prices. And, you know, you'd be you'd, I think you'd be happy with them. I'm just kind of scanning through here so you can see all the wallpapers and, and how how good the colors are reproduced on this screen right here. It's a, a 720p display, but it's 312 pixels per inch for the techies that know. And so that means that it's producing some pretty sharp uh, colors on here for it to be. Um, a 720 display, um, and it's really nice. It's uh, different. The neon looks a little different. Uh, I, you know, it's just a phone, though. I guess I should. You got to remember. Um, I guess we get too too involved with our devices, and you know, it's it's just a phone, and that's that's kind of where it stops. But this is the Blue Life Play uh, neon uh, that was just sent to me to replace my blue one. And this one is brand new. It's it's really nice. I I kind of dig it. I, I I like the the color, the vibrantness that it brings. So that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Be on the lookout for some great unboxings and reviews of a new company that I just hooked up with. Um, and uh, there should be another. I, I did like a, I didn't do like a promo video, but I just did kind of a introduction for that company because they're just now coming out. And uh, uh, check it out. That video should be up already. I will see you guys in the next video. Again, look for some great unboxings coming. I'm so ready to get started on these, these devices that they have to offer because they have some monster devices for the prepaid market, for the unlocked world, for the contract-free world. They can make their mark, and I think they will. This is Blue, and that company rivals Blue directly. So we'll see how they stand up. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.